Hello, and welcome back to Everything Fly Fishing. In today's class, we are going to teach you a copper drawn. And we've already started by taking the bead and having it up, and then ran the line all the way back and head cementing it. I am not going to weigh this fly because, besides, it has copper wire and a bead head on it. So I'm not going to add no lead. You can see this. Uh, Goose by it. We need two of these for our tail. And I don't know. Let me see if I can show you this. Uh, see how they bend? We're gonna tie these in with with the uh, bend out, so they they flare out. So we take, come along, and get one, and rip it off, and then, uh, let's see if you can see the, oh, there I can see it, there you can see it, see the concave, we're going to take the concave part, and you're going to tie that. Now, now I like to hold it against that side a little bit up. Go as light, light wrap, then pull tight. And at this point, you can look and see if that's where you want it. That's where I want it. If not, you can pull on it, adjust it. Then I'm going to run it up. And come back to where the other one's tied in. Find the concave part. We'll put this in our right hand. Find the concave part. And tie that one. To hold it in my right hand, pinch it against. Measure it about one half of the length of the length of the straight part of your hook because it's a shanky hook. And I tie forward. I don't know if you can see, you can see it pretty good. You see that split tail. <laughs> I changed my lighting on my fly tying it. Really cleared it up. Okay, then we want to get our main body part. To do that, we're going to use copper wire. And that's, imagine why they call it copper john. You uh, put the wire, let me see if I can show you. I like to take the wire, stick it kind of in the bead head. On the wire, alongside, towards you. All the way back to where you tied that tail end. So you still have your spit tail and you got wire tied in all the way to the back. Now, definitely shouldn't have no complaints of any, from anybody about this using head cement. This is nymph. So, when I tie nymphs, I use tons of it. You said something about me using it on my dry flies. When I use it on the nymph, I tie a lot of head cement because it makes it stronger. 
you want to fish when you're after you're once you start fishing, you don't want to be back at your bench tying them every day because you're they're coming apart. And then you're at this point, you, once that head cement dries, now you want to take this wire, you want to wrap it, starting right in front of the tail. And when you wrap this, you want to get as close as you possibly can with each wrap. Wrap it on up. I'm gonna wrap them and make sure I'm wrapped to tell you the closest you can get them. Now, this is something I just learned. Is you take this and go on this side, and this side, and this side. On this side. So once you got that, pull down on your line, hold tension, and just go around just like a helicopter. Keep twisting and twisting and twisting like a helicopter, pulling up and twisting. And that'll pop that right off. And that will get so close to your thread, you won't have a little tab to deal with. See? Clean. Take that back. Now you want to make sure that your bead's ahead when you measure this gap. But you want to come back. I'd say it's right about there. Okay. Now, for this part we need, I have here, I don't know if you can see, it's a new strand of Flashaboo. We're going to double that. Tie that in. Right, right up to the bead. I'm going to take the line back. Here again. Now this. <coughs> this is something I do. I mean, I know there's different ways of tying this fly. But this is actually rubber legs, but it comes in a strip, and you can, uh, you know, make it as wide or as not as wide as you want. And I kind of. If you can see this or not, about just about as wide as the bandit hook. Usually I use as wide as a hook, but I want more of the peacock hanging out in this fly from underneath. So I take that and put it on top, it directly on directly on top. Well, actually towards me a little bit, so that if you lay it towards you. Just a hair. When you wipe the thread, it will pour it on top. Okay, go up with your line to the bead head again. Move them back to about where you were with your wire. Now, um, let me see if I can show you this. This is the top part of the peacock. Can you see how shiny it is? We're going to use this because it's a really cool golden color. It kind of matches the the uh, rest of the fly. So we're going to use one of this part of the peacock feather. Peacocks, you, you can always find a local person that grows, has a peacock or something to get free feathers. Trust me. On a summer day, go listen to about noon 
Let me see if you can hear him. Just walk up the phone. I'm glad they gave you Peacock. I had somebody collecting me Peacock one time. They gave me so much. <laughs> Way too much. I think I'm still using the same stuff from 1980. Okay. So then I run a lot. I do a couple raps to bail up that block. And then I go right in behind the bead. Or that. Okay. So now. You got your flash bill. You got your peacock, and you got your rubber shell. Take your peacock and wrap around. Since we brought up so much material, it shouldn't take you as much of your wraps of peacock. It's, peacock can be temperamental. I tie I always tie a couple before. I'm sure I like the materials I'm working on before I do these videos. Well, that last one I tied took entirely way to the PCAP cock break in. My wire wraps won't fall right. So then you pull this tight once you get your peacock up. And then you take your shell or your rubber legs or you could use turkey and tell you though oh, oh, oh sorry you are not ready for that step yet almost forgot next we need our magic partridge <laughs> so then we gotta take a little bit of these and rip them a section off Measure the wing only about half a length. I press it against the finger. Wrap it. Press it with my left hand. Loose wrap. No loose wrap. Side towards you. Cut that off. Now, from my side, drop the feather. Take another clump of the Partridge. Do the same thing. Together. Measure it. Press hold it against my left. On two loose wraps. Tighten it up. Now I like to take two wraps. And at this point, I like to make sure my legs are you know, still on the side, looking good. Okay, then I take this other legs, pull it up over. Same thing as I did with the legs. One, two loose wraps. And right behind the bead. This one just did three. 
gotta be careful. Sometimes your line will like slip off the bead. Just want to uh, tighten it. Do a tight wrap. Make sure I ain't going anywhere. Now you take your crystal flash, two strands of crystal flash, pull that up. Try and put that right in the center of your legs. Wrap it. Wrap it. Couple tight wraps. Take all your material and you pull it up, stretch out the rubber, and clip it. You can get your legs, your tail, splash your glue. I'm going to take one. Two. Now these wraps behind, see if you can see it, see them wraps? You have nothing to worry about because this final step, I don't get too excited about that on this fly. Most flies I do, I like to hide it. I like to do like a couple wraps of peacock there. But as you will see. The same way as I don't put head cement on it, because for this final step of this fly, it doesn't need head cement. So you make sure your legs look good. Make sure your fly looks good, your legs are good, your tail's good, your head's good. Now, I'm going to do a product. I'm going to show a link to a video I did. I posted earlier today on this product. Let me see if you can see it. I'll back it up so you can see it. This product. This stuff has, has me amazed. Because wait till you see how you use this stuff. For one, it has a really fine tip on it. Which makes it really easy on smaller flies. If you're doing a size 16, I recommend you put on a toothpick or a Q tip. Or a toothpick, I mean. Now, what you do, you take a drop of this liquid, what you want to do is make a, a bubble right behind the bead head, this stuff is so awesome to use. Make a nice size bubble. You can see that. Mind the bead ahead. I kind of want to be ahead. And this stuff, all you do, and I'll tell you where, if you're in my area or maybe in your area, you can get it. So you just hold this light, UV lighting on there, and it, I count to 10. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can sit here for a little bit. Count to ten again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can see our nice bubble. And trust me, people, that's hard as a rock. There you have it. Copper John. I guess you could say Copper John my way. But 
these things really work people get tie these up remember on your vest you tie these in a size 16 this doesn't have to be a 14 which works really well in the bigger creeks which I'll be fishing early this season in regulation, special regulation areas <coughs> and uh, thank you for watching hey thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video and like I said we have our sponsors over here over here over here <laughs> over here up here and uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe for many 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 flies to come and soon to be out fishing when the water breaks it's really cold here in Pennsylvania and uh, I can see the creek out from out my window and I'm sitting here looking at it it's frozen and it's like so discouraging I just picked up my license about two weeks ago I uh, bought the girlfriend a new rod and here it is cold ironic ain't it anyhow this copper john I don't weight it because it sinks pretty quick because it's all wire and bead head and it works really well and if you tie it in a size 16 or a I use it on a size 14 that's what size I have most luck with tie it in a size 14 um, and use it as a as your fly uh, during this winter I mean it really sticks out you know I use this as a bottom fly my top fly is a uh, is usually a uh, flashback bead head they work great together or I use that on the bottom and a sulfur on top which really works really nice around this time of year too so thank you for watching our videos like I said all our music in our videos is by Bruce Wayne Durr he is a Lewisburg Pennsylvanian and uh, go check out the uh, I over here for a link to Bruce's music and uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day and stay warm thank you